Good morning, everybody. Hey, hey, happy Tuesday. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. The chat is open. You can say good morning in the chat. Oh, somebody's got some feedback going on there. Good morning. There we go. They're coming in. Great. Hi, hi, hi. How are you? <laughs> Adrian, are you still in California? I think yeah, we're gonna yeah. This yeah. is our last week and we're leaving on Saturday. I thought this was your week off from school. It is. But we have decided to come to all the Zooms this week. Okay, okay. So, well, I'll be at all the, so I'll be at all the morning Zooms, and then I'll be at book club. Oh, okay, but you don't think you'll make it in person? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, the activity and in person, you're going to love, and so you should definitely check it out and do it this summer, because I put a link to how to do it. Hey, good morning, everybody. All right. Good, we've got 17 people in. So Alex, if you can keep watching as people zoom in, we're gonna start the morning game. I've got a new one. I will put it in the chat what it is. It's called, today's warm up game is called Waffles versus Pancakes. You're gonna need to be in the chat. It's gonna be quick and you have to make quick decisions about which you prefer, waffles or pancakes. And then whoever wins um, gets to whichever, is preferred, then it gets to go against a bunch of other things. So here we go. The very first thing we're gonna do, everybody type into the chat, waffles or pancakes? You must choose, you can't say both. Go, waffles or pancakes? Everybody, everybody, I need all 17 of you or 18 of you or 19 of you. Okay, let me start counting. Waffles from Zong, waffles, waffles, pancakes, waffles, pancakes, Teen Titans. Pancakes, pancakes, ooh, it's a tie. Waffles, five, waffles, six, pancakes, five. Waffles are winning, pancakes, six. Oh, Zong, you already voted. <laughs> pancakes, seven, waffles, six. Pancakes, eight, pancakes, nine. <gasps> pancakes win. Okay, pancakes win. So now the next thing is pancakes or puppies. Which do you prefer? <laughs> Pancakes or puppy? Puppies. <laughs> Ooh, I already got a pedicure this weekend. Whoever's getting the pedicure. Who's getting the pedicure? Adrian. Light blue. I did pink. Let me show you my toes. They're so beautiful. <laughs> They're kind of dirty now. Uh, okay, let's see here. Pancakes or puppies? Pancakes. Puppies. One and one. Puppies get two. Puppies get three. Puppies get four. Oh, pancakes are still at one. Puppies get five, puppies get six, puppies get seven, eight, nine, pancakes get two. <laughs> hey, wait, that was Adrian. She is the first pancake person. <laughs> pancakes are still at one. Oh, puppies are killing this one. Okay, puppies win. Next contest, ready? Puppies or hugs from a loved one, like your favorite person in the world. Hugs or puppies? Oh my gosh, puppies are beating out hugs. I can't even believe it. <laughs> There's like two hugs. Everybody else puppies. Oh, three hugs. That's a lot. Oh my gosh, puppies are very popular. Okay, let's uh, make this a little bit harder. Puppies or kittens? That's a tough one. Make a decision. You have to commit. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Uh, kittens, puppies, one and one. Kittens, no both, Zeta, you have to choose. A cat, a puppies, cat. that's two. No, I'm sorry puppies, about that. Three, kittens, three, it's three and three. Puppies, four, kittens, four. Puppies, five, puppies, six, puppies, seven. <laughs> puppies, eight, puppies, nine, puppies, ten. Puppies, man, you guys are a, you are a puppy crowd. Okay, puppies win. Okay, puppies or going out to the movies in one of those really comfy chairs with a drink and popcorn and snacks. Puppies or going to the movies? 
Really? Puppies? <laughs> Only Adrian is not such a puppy fan. <laughs> uh, okay, we got I one here. I have been rooting for puppies. <laughs> you see my boots? Yeah, I see yours. You're saying not to movies. Subi's saying movies. One and a half hours. Oh, because you're saying puppies last longer. Puppies is forever. It is not forever. It's like a few months. Have you ever had a puppy? They're a lot of work. Yes. They are cute, but they do choose them up. All right, let's try the next one. Still puppies. Oh, they die. <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> That's horrible. I should not be laughing, but that is really a funny sense of humor. Okay, sorry. I'm <laughs> losing it. Okay, here we go. How about puppies or hot cookies fresh out of the oven? Cookies or puppies? It's <laughs> still puppies. I don't know if I can find anything to beat puppies. Hmm. All right, how about, since puppies are still winning, how about puppies versus playing with your best friends? Come on, guys. Really? <laughs> puppies over people? You puppies are like your best friends. You guys are puppy crazy. Well, kittens are cute too, and friends. Well, puppies. You guys are puppy obsessed. Okay, how about this one? I was trying to think of things kids love. So, puppies or unlimited rides and snacks at the best amusement park. So that could be Disney World, it could be Epcot Center, it could be Six Flags. Oh, oh, I thought I had some competition there. One person said Disney. Puppies. <laughs> I just think you're trying to get me with this puppy thing. I wish I could bring puppies to the in-person, but I don't have any. <laughs> Okay, I got a couple. Okay, does anybody have anything they think will compete with puppies? Lily, go ahead. I just wanted to say that when you scratch my dog's back, she like lays over and then smiles slowly. <laughs> More evidence um, for why puppies are the best. I, think, go ahead, I know one thing that could overrun puppies. I know, I know something guys, that um, could overrun puppies. I caution you talking over people. Please stop for a minute. It's little, It's uh, Alma's turn. Go ahead, Alma. Could do puppies versus like your family. Uh, okay, let's try that. Although they didn't go for the hugs, but let's try that. Let's see. Puppies versus your family. Oh, we got some family votes. What? Finally, okay, one family, two family, three family, four family, five family, one puppies. <laughs> Six, seven, eight families, no Subi, you cannot choose both. <laughs> I think families is winning on this one. Good job, Alma, <laughs> you came up with it. <laughs> okay, all right, my friends, let's uh, stop the puppy game, but that was that was very revealing. I did not know we had so many obsessed puppy fans. Go ahead, Aliyah. The reason why I chose family is because pup, the puppies would be part of my family. Oh, cheating. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I'm here. Okay. All right, friends. Let's move on. Um, let's get down to business. I don't think I have any birthdays this week. Is that accurate? We'll have to make sure and celebrate all of the summer birthdays. Who has a summer birthday? Mine is next week. Oh, you're next week? Well, well, we'll get you next week, and then the very last week of school, we'll get summer birthdays. So we oh, are down. Who knows how many weeks of school we have left? Hold up your fingers. Yeah, three weeks of school left. We have nine Zooms left. Well, actually, we only have two this week. So actually, we have eight Zooms left. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. So that's not too many. Um, so we are down to it, my friends. We are done with most of our Florida virtual and we are only still doing math and I think science has another week or so. Um, so that's all changing. I'm gonna share my screen for a minute and show you our week at a glance. Miss Laws. Yeah. Are we gonna have the in-persons through the summer? No, sorry, sweetie, we aren't. 
Okay, here we go. Here's our week at a glance. So we didn't have school yesterday. Here you can see that there's a link to sign up for your in-person conference that are starting today. Today I'm gonna to meet with Clara right after Zoom. And then um, I'd like M to go ahead and stay in the breakout room and I'll just call you in when Clara's done. And then Rod will Zoom back in at 11, at 11.30 and Rhina at 12. And then we have um, in person this afternoon, we're doing the um, t-shirts. If you weren't able to get a t-shirt, please let me know. I bought five just in case people couldn't get it. And I can make sure that I have one for you. Um, or if you forget it at the last minute, we'll make sure you have one. But you can bring any t-shirt. Um, why don't you send me a note in chat if you need a t-shirt. Um, and then um, let's see what else. Uh, Ooh, we had a very sad week of dream box. Here are my dream box stars. M, Alex, Joey, good job, Deckard. Jaden did great. Aliyah did great. Tomomi did awesome. Akash did great. Vi did awesome. Adrian on vacation did an amazing job. Uh, Clara did awesome. Zeta did awesome. And Gracie did awesome. Everybody else did not do awesome, which was a lot. It was our worst week ever. So I'm not going to read your names or show you the list, but if you haven't done some dream box by Thursday, that gives you two days. You're going to stay on and do a little dream box. You get to stay on and do a little dream box. So please get on there and do a little dream box for me, okay? Um, these are the kids who still need to sign up for conferences. Uh, I've got a list of who signed up and who hasn't. So Gerard needs to sign up. Deckard, I signed you and Jaden up for um, Thursday, I think. I'm not sure. No, next week, Tuesday. Sorry. Emma, you need to sign up. Kira, Abby needs to sign up. Lulu needs to sign up. Elijah, you need to sign up. Uh, Kavaya, you need to sign up. Zeta and Griffin, you guys all need to sign up for your conference. If you're wondering where to do that, it's right here, right there on, on today's Week at a Glance on Tuesday. You click this and sign up, okay? And um, we're going to do conferences today, tomorrow, and on Thursday. Then on Friday, we have some clubs meeting, but two clubs are already done. So the Obob Club and the Fire Reading Dragons are done for the year. The Flaming Tomatoes have their Lego challenge party, their final party, and the Blue Flame Phoenix Readers and Turtle Riding Dragons are gonna zoom in and watch um, Tech Everlasting. So, uh, okay, that's it for sharing that. Do I have any questions about classwork this week, schoolwork? Yeah, Lily. Do we get a pick our own partner? Um, you know, I matched you up just to make sure everybody would have a partner and I sit around a little bit. And so you can look at the list and see who you're matched with. I think you're going to be fine. And Where can so we'll talk about, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Clara? Okay. Oh, I was going to ask that exact same thing. Same question. Okay. Um, yeah. So, you know, the, the, the reason that I don't allow free choice on partners is, I don't know if you've ever been the one who was the odd person out when people are choosing partners. Raise your hand if you've ever been that person who was left out when people were choosing partners. And that's just a horrible feeling. So we know each other really well. And I think we can all write together. And this is really, it's kind of an assessment of how well can you work together. And so I've changed a few partners around just to make it work. And it's mostly because of the internet. Some people don't have really good internet. So I put kind of some groups of three together if I thought there was somebody who was gonna have a hard time zooming in. Um, so let's go ahead and look at that sheet now. So what we're gonna do next is, um, I'm gonna share my screen again. And um, when you go into, let's go into the calendar and then let's go into the dashboard. And it says we're doing collaboration writing. So we did this once earlier this year and you guys wrote all sorts of cool stuff, which was fun. If you go into our grade four language arts, and if you're not really doing grade four right now, I think you should try and just do this assignment with a partner because it'll be kind of fun. I'm not being real strict about it. It's your very end of the year and it's your choice what you write, completely your choice. It's taking about 100 years. Okay, so here we go. It should be at the top of the page, segment two collaboration. 
And it's collaboration assessment too. I think you can only see one assignment because I didn't publish the others. So you should be able to see this one though, I'm thinking, I'm hoping. Um, of course, it's not opening right now, but let's let's open it. See if it'll open, please open. Did anybody see it to tell me if it actually showed up? I saw one assignment, but I'll check if it was assignment two or assignment one. I think it should show up like this. Now it's exactly the same as it was early in the year. Collaboration means working together. For this writing assignment, work with a partner to create a piece of green belt writing of your choice. Working together means both of you give your ideas and both of you compromise to agree on what to write. One person can talk while the other person types or both give ideas and take turns typing or split up the project and each one of you do a part. So if you're gonna have a hard time zooming together, then what you should do today is talk about who's gonna do which part of the writing and then um, make sure and do the work. And then when you meet on Zoom during our, our lessons, you can check and see if the other one's doing their part. So here's a link to the document with partners names to help you email each other if needed. The reason I included your, like some people's full official names is because if you're trying to find them on, um, on the mail, you have to type in their real name to get there. Um, here's a list of Greenbelt writing ideas that you came up with in class earlier this year. And of course, you can do something else if you have another idea. You could write a story, do a diary, a script for a play, a book report, sports reporting, historical fiction, random cool thoughts, how to book, oh, a how to book, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> how to book, like how to do something. An essay, an illustrated children's book, a comic book, a letter to the newspaper that we could actually send to the newspaper, a horror story, a short story, a scientific explanation, a recipe book, a fantasy story, informational reports, songs, opinion-based essay, fun ads, an ABC book, poetry, advice for kids, your own newspaper, or any other thing of your choice that includes writing. This is about writing. I have a question. Yeah. So wait, so where do you go to get this? You go into fourth grade language arts. So our homeroom. And you go to the very first module. It's called collaboration assessment. Collaboration. Okay. And here's a place for you to submit your choice of writing. It, there's a submission button. And here's kind of the grading. And really what I'm looking at is, did you just do something silly that made no sense? Or did you work hard on making it good writing? So I don't really care, but I want you to try to include some figurative language, make it interesting. Have capital letters and end marks, please. Paragraphs, commas, quotation marks. Make sure that the structure you choose fits your writing assignment, right? Um, so it should, you know, it should be good writing. You're working together. Maybe one week you want to write a quick story and then the next week you want to do a song. And then the next week you want to write an advice column for kids, how to survive uh, a uh, quarantine year. That would actually be cute. Like how to survive a quarantine year. Anyway, here's the doc that you're going to click to find your partner's names. And you're going to need to look at this now because in a minute, I'm going to set up breakout rooms and you're going to go to that breakout room with your partner. So please get a pen or pencil so you can write down your partner's name and breakout room. <laughs> and then you have two jobs. Today, you need to talk with your partner about what you're going to write and then go onto this doc, which I think you can edit and carefully put next to your name what you're writing, like a comic book or a recipe book or a newsletter or a funny play or whatever you're writing. Um, and Ms. Lewis, can you put it in the chat, please? Um, okay, in a minute, but it's on the lesson, Akash. You can use the if you got it a glimpse is also a link to it. So guys, um, after you put in what you're writing, I would like you to make a Google Doc, and I'd like you to do two things with your Google Doc. So let me show you how to do this. You're going to go up to a new tab and you're going to go to your, if it ever opens, <laughs> you're going to go to your drive and you're going to choose like which one of you is going to make the Google Doc. You don't both make it because one person makes it and shares it. I think you know that. So you're going to go to Google Docs or to your drive. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. And you can do it in a slideshow too if you wish. Either way, it's the same sharing. So you're going to have to do two things, three things, really. 
When you go into your Google Doc, I want you very first of all, start a new blank document. This thing isn't open yet. There we go. When you go into your new black document, I want you to title it with both of your names and just write final writing, okay? So go to the title where it's untitled, click on it if it ever clicks. <laughs> you can also write it down here and then it'll go up there, but it's not alive yet, it's taking it forever. Okay, there we go. So erase what's up there and type in Ms. Oh, come on, laws and uh oh, it's it's going freaky. It's freaking out on me. Come on, dumb document. Ms. Laws and her imaginary partner. <laughs> Oops. It's got such a lag. Final writing. Okay. And then I want you to do a couple of things. The first thing you're going to need to do is share this with your partner. So you click the share button up in the corner. Right now it's private only to you. And then you're going to need to ask your partner today, whoever's setting up the doc, ask them their, um, their password or whatever, their, their name. And let's say I wanted to share this with me. <laughs> there I go. And see how it says editor right here? That means they can edit it. And so then you send it to your partner. And then the second thing you're gonna need to do <laughs> is you're gonna need to share it with me and get a link for it so that we put that on that doc. But that link needs to be not editable because you don't want your friends clicking on it and changing your story. So you're gonna go down to here to the bottom and you're gonna change it to anyone with the link, boom. But you wanna make sure this says viewer and not editor. And then you copy the link and then you're done and you can leave that and you're going to go back to our document where we have our names and right next to your name you're going to paste that sharing thing now if you don't want it to come out huge like this you can um highlight it so copy it get rid of it and then you can write link to story or something like that then you highlight that Go up here and click the, the three dots, get the link, and you put in the link there, and then it's not like all over the page huge. There we go. Now it's got the link to the story. I'm going to get rid of that link right now because I don't think that Abby and Emma want my imaginary story. <laughs> so here you go. Abby and Emma are going to be in room one, Nora and Alaya in room two, Adrian and Alma in room three, Deckard and Jaden in room four. Deckard is in one. He's not on today? All right. Uh, well, he was on, but then he like got off. Well, he might come back when I'm not sharing. Let's just try it in room four. And Jaden, you can get started setting up a um, that whole thing, OK? OK. Um, so somebody's typing on here. Elijah, why are you writing right there? Please stop. I can see who's writing, buddy. OK. Nora and Eli in room two. Adrian and Alma in room three. Um, so Adrian, since you're on vacation, you may want to set up with Alma that you guys are just kind of doing your own thing uh, until you get back and like split up and say, I'll write chapter one, you write chapter two or something like that. Um, Deckard and Jaden in room four, Alex and Gagan in room five, Rina and Clara in room six, Emily and Subi in room seven, Akash and Elijah in room eight, Joey and Kavai and Gerard in room nine, because sometimes Gerard has to leave early. So I thought we better have three there. Tomomi and Gracie in room 10, Griffin and Zong in room 11, Rod and Vi in room 12, Emma, Lulu, Kira, and Zeta in room 13. And I did that because you guys also all three have internet troubles. So I thought maybe you can agree on a project you can work on kind of independently. Like let's all add recipes to recipe book or something like that. And Elisabetta and Lily in room 14. So you guys write down your number. Does anybody not know their number right now? Okay, I'm gonna stop my share. And you have two jobs. You're gonna go into your breakout room. When I set it up, how many rooms were there? 14, is that right? Yeah, 14. Okay, I'm gonna set up like 16. So if people finish their work and they wanna to go to a breakout room, it'll be okay. Um, I'm gonna create them now. You're gonna go in your room, talk with your partner about what your project's gonna be. You can always go onto the assignment and look at that. 
And then one of you needs to go and set up the dock and get it all ready to go and make sure that you've done all the sharing, okay? If you have any troubles, come back to me. If your partner is not here today, come back to me after you wait in your room for a few minutes and we'll see what's going on, okay? I've got 27 um, people, so there's only three people gone right now. There you go. Um, Ms. Moss. Yes. Um, can you type in the chat what Elijah's um, um, email is so I can- I can tell you, honey. He can tell you. Okay. When you go to your breakout room, he'll tell you. And you've got his name, so it should pop up in um, Canvas. Raina, what's your question? It doesn't. You guys can go to your breakout rooms now. Raina, did you have a question? Yeah, I have a question. What is it? Start on a story or um, thing you do. What? Can we start on our writing? Yeah, yeah. If you get everything else done, you can start on your writing. Okay. We'll do this again on Thursday. So if you don't get started today, it'll be okay. Tamomi, you okay? Emma, you need me to move you to what room? Uh, um, one with Abby, room one. Uh, room and another okay. thing is, uh, should we go through writing foxtails? Can we I can't, I can't give you, wait, say it again. because We're I writing foxtails, so can we submit that? Yeah, or absolutely. Do we absolutely, whatever you're working on. That's great. Okay. Finish one thing, you can start another. Okay, Tamomi, did you know what room you're in? What room? Okay, go for it. Uh, Lily, you know what room you're in? Uh, yeah, but um, I was just wondering if I can, um, like. No, you cannot be with Nora and Alaya. Sorry. <laughs> I need some help with um, an assignment. It's the- Oh, okay, then come back later, okay? Come back after you're done talking to your partner. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, Tomomi, what's going on? Who's your partner, Tomomi? Gracie, I couldn't find her. What? I don't see Gracie today, huh? She's usually here. I wonder if she got kicked out. I think so. She was in the, uh, in the well, She might come back. Why don't you go set up the document and share it with her? You should be able to get her name. Her name is Grace. It doesn't have an I in it. G-R-A-C-E. And then you can see her whole name on that document. Okay. okay. Miss Claus? Yes. Is Zong yes. supposed to be with us? Uh, no, he's supposed to be with Griffin. Is Griffin not here today? Is he in your room? Oh, Zong's no. here. Zong, is Griffin not here? Zong? <laughs> he's typing in the chat. Oh, I can't see the chat right now. I've got, oh, he's absent. Okay, so if your partner is absent today, Zong, why don't you wait and see if he's here on Thursday and just go set up the document, okay? And get a link to it on that page. Yeah, me. mine isn't either. Okay, so same thing for you, Jaden. Try to go set up a Google Doc and see if you can share the link on that page, okay? I already did. Okay, good. And you shared it with him? Uh, I was about to. Okay, so go get all that done. And then you can um, go ahead and go if you'd like to. Okay. I need to stop the recording. It's been recording all morning. 